Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of my Darkness Falls for Alpha 20 series. It is the morning of day 47. We had a bunch of demos go off here last night. They didn't do as much damage as I thought they would have. I'm actually shocked that it's not as worse than what it is. So, I mean, the base still kind of held up. I'm glad I put that extra block down. We're going to fill all this in with, with concrete when we come back. But after that... Or that being said, we're out of here. We are off down to the wasteland now. We got a long way to go. We got the supercharger in the bike now, though. Um, we're gonna cross here because that is the narrowest part of the wasteland. And since we don't have any other gear other than just regular hazmat gear, not any radiation pills. We don't have anything other than just regular hazmat gear. We gotta foot it through the wasteland. So, um, I'm going through the narrowest point because I have no idea the easiest way through. I don't even know if there's a road through there or not. So I'm not even going to take any chances at all. So I think I beat my record now. We're 47 days in and I haven't died yet. Now, I mean, we've been doing Horde every two to four nights too. And we're only on Warrior difficulty, so it's not that bad. Zombies jog during the day. So, I mean, it could be a lot worse, but... Yeah, we're, we're good. Uh, we've been fighting behemoths and stuff and not had a problem. Um, so yeah, I mean, we've got plenty of firepower. My, my big fear now is this research, research lab. We haven't encountered demons yet, but I know the difficulty in this lab is a lot higher than like elsewhere. So if you go early, you know, when you're not normally encountering like, you know, radiated zombies, you will there. So I'm worried that we're going to encounter demons there. But if we do it right, like I know how to do this right, and I gotta really hope that it's like, um, it goes like clockwork. And that's, you pull up to the outside, right? Get your ax out, and you stay at a distance, right? You see the uh, entry, entryway, you stay at a distance so that no zombies spawn. You full sprint to the top of the well. You break the, um, the top with the axe and then you quickly go down as fast as you can open that door and go right inside and kill the zombies as fast as possible destroy the spawner right away and without even hesitating you go right into the back room and destroy the second spawner you come back out after you've done that um, close the door now the military zombies are spawning, but that's fine. You close the door to the main part of the building. Hopefully, I mean, you shouldn't have, you know, fired off too many rounds. Like, so you shouldn't have to worry about screamers. Then you just go deal with the military guys. The military guys, I mean, there's probably going to be four to six of them. You should be able to pull them down relatively quickly. If you bring something to block the door, now I didn't. I was going to bring a hatch and I didn't, I forgot. But you can just put a block in front of it, just enough to stop them from getting out. Shred them really fast, and then uh, once they're shredded, just kill the spawner really fast, and then you should be good to go. Now, I gotta check here. Are we close? Oh, shoot. I'm going the wrong way. So now, the last time I've been through this place, the... Um, it was, in fact, as Kane said, it was kind of broken in that um, I had to go through it first before starting the quest, clear the place like you normally would clear it, then leave, start the quest, and then when you started the quest um, and went back in, there was no zombies. You just said were able to just kill the spawn spawners and finish the quest off. Now, what I'm going to do... So I'm going to do that, do it that way. I'm going to go in and do it by the numbers, right? Kill everything first. I am going to loot probably because we haven't, we've stayed away from it for 47 days. I'm going to loot the uh, titanium lockers and going to grab, you know, some half decent stuff. And damn, I was going to bring a workbench with me too. Shoot. That way I can merge stuff. Oh well, but anyway. Um, if we find some laser weapons, I'll probably grab a couple of pistols and any laser cells, any fo any um, plasma grenades, that kind of stuff, and red pages. Um, 
But the rest of the stuff I'll just leave behind. So if I find any la like laser swords or plasma batons or things like that, I won't take them on the first pass through. On the second pass through, whatever I find, if I want to keep it, I will. But the first one, I'm just going to grab a few things. Um, just like I said, just because we haven't um, uh, we haven't gone like into the wasteland at all or any of that stuff, and it's day 47, so. We're gonna need the stuff that we're gonna we're getting here, so that's why I'm like I gotta grab a laser pistol or stuff because as soon as demons start spawning, we're gonna need something. All right, we're making pretty good time. It's just before noon, so ah oh man, we're gonna get there. We should be getting there before nighttime. Depends on how long it takes us for us to, for, it takes for us to cross the wasteland, and with feral sense on. Um, like, zombies are going to be coming out of the woodwork to get a piece of us. But as long as I have Master Pork and Shotgun out and I'm running, we have 125% run speed. So, I don't think anything is going to catch us. Like I said, my only fear is demons or, like, behemoths that are fast. Those are my only fears. But the coil, I mean, the, the, the uh, coil rifles got us covered for behemoths and stuff, so we should be able to pull them down pretty quickly. Actually, I might use the M4 because it's got the, uh, I should switch that. The M4's got the electricity on it, but I should switch that to the, yeah, oh, I missed him. I was hoping to run him over. That's a lot of boulders. So the coil, um, the coil carbine's got a, got a, uh, a better chance to proc the, uh, uh, the electricity, so I'll switch the uh, electricity from the M4 over to that, plus we have more ammo for it, so hopefully if we can keep proccing the uh, electricity on those behemoths, we should have no problem. Yeah, we'll be alright. We'll be alright, right? Please tell me that we're going to be okay, people. Are you coming after me, or are you just, uh... No, you're just doing your thing. Don't know why I'm reloading, because we got to take the, uh... This out of here. No, I'm pretty sure I can just fit it right in here. Yep. Okay, reload both of these. Stack up the ammo properly because we got to pick up this. Gas it up fully if we can. Cool. Um, alrighty. Oh, God. Not looking forward to this at all. Alright. Well. 100% radiation resistance. Well. Wish me luck. This does not feel that fast. Why does it not feel fast? What's my mobility? Does the radiation gear reduce mobility? I don't think it does. Actually, skills. Um, beautiful, we can do that. Um, can I do parkour? Wait, did I get the third? Gonna do... I've got a feeling we're gonna need that. God damn, man, you scared the shit out of me. Stop being a dick. I'm trying to get into the wasteland. Alright, my mobility. Can you sense the panic in my voice? Um, where's my mobility? 110. It doesn't count Porkins and the... It doesn't count Porkins, and it doesn't count, um... Uh, for fuck's sakes. It doesn't count Porkins, and it doesn't count the leather jacket. But we are at 125 when we're running. Okay, well... No time like the present. Let's try not to get killed. No time like the present. We're gonna get brutally killed. 
Let's hope we don't step on a landmine. Although I think if I add skills to parkour... If we run fast enough, we might get ahead of the spawning zombies. Yeah, our stamina's not even dropping. We're full speed running, no, no drop in stamina. Um, but yeah, if we, if we run fast enough, we might be able to get ahead of the spawns. There's a demon portal, just avoid that. A doge. Doge can't catch me. I know, I've tried. I've tried against doges. The only thing I don't know is zombie bears. Behemoths definitely will probably be able to catch me. Those big guys are pretty quick. But the zombie dogs won't be able to catch me. They'll still be locked onto me once we get out of here, though. Okay, let's stay away from that. Copper. Stay away from him. A portal up there, go up top of here, I guess. Okay, I have no idea how far through we are. Heading straight south. Another dog. I want to say I'm feeling pretty good about this, but you never know what can happen in a race. Stamina still hasn't still hasn't dropped. Okay, yeah, big footballer. I don't know if that guy's fast enough to catch me either. So I'm thinking uh, I'm gonna toss up whether or not I want to go with um, transhuman or um, what's the other one? So there's the one with the demonic essence, and then the one with the other one. And one gives you more health and stamina regen, I think. And then the other one makes you faster. And I can't remember what the other perk is. But there's a bunch of... Yeah. Oh, shit. Do I go... Which way do I go? I guess I go this way. Um... So I'm thinking we can probably, um, I don't know, it's a toss-up. Watching the watching later game gameplay, it's like you really want to get that extra hit points in the regen. I think it's re I think it's the yeah the quicker hit hit point regen. But then my my game style is having speed, and if you have a lot of speed then you really shouldn't worry too much about zombies. Like, I know demons and stuff are fast. We haven't encountered any out here yet either. So we're still pretty good. As long as we stay away from the portals, we should be fine. I really hope this... Yeah, I can see trees now. Okay, cool. We're almost there. There's a cop spitting at me. Um... But yeah, I mean, like, if we get that movement speed increase, it's like another 15%. So, if we get the, if we get the extra 15%, um, we'll be moving at 140% speed. So there's very little... There's very little the zombies can do to catch us. So, I mean... I don't know, it doesn't help in a horde-based situation, obviously. Oh, come on, where is the friggin' snow biome? White? No? I don't know. There it is. Alright. We're gonna have to go deep into the snow biome, I think. Before these guys are uh, off our ass. I should've put the bike in the toolbar. Oh, they're white. At least it's regular zombies, you know? Oh. You don't know how happy it makes me feel to have snow under my feet. It almost feels like I'm running slower now, too. I gotta find a place to get my gear on here. Yeah, that white is still kind of chasing me. There's a zombie. Wolf.
I think we're probably safe. Nope. Well, that's not nice. All right, let's get our gear on. All right, I feel better. Actually, we'll leave that down. Well, that could have gone... I don't think that could have gone any better. All right, map. Um, we want to put... Uh, where are you here? No. Uh, the reward. 3.3 kilometers. Okay, there's a lot of mountains here. And I can't see a damn thing. But I am going full speed to get here. Hopefully we don't find a crevice and go drive straight straight into it. Alright, we're slowly coming up on the POI here. 300 meters. I don't want to get too close to it. I still can't see it. It's still broken terrain out here. I gotta like make sure I don't get too too close to it to start. And then we gotta make sure that all of our shit is ready to go. Alright. I leave the bike here. So we need these down. Um gonna need the axe out. Um so let's bring these Like that. Coil carbine is the way to go going inside. Let's make sure the bike is gassed up. Alright, what time of day is it? Um, so that's about halfway. So it's about maybe 3 or 4 in the afternoon. So we've got plenty of time to get in here and do this place. Okay, let's hope we don't die. Shotgun out first to get the speed. There it is. I could have brought the bike over, but yeah, we got to just ignore this guy. They're going to start spawning real fast. There's the spawns. And we're in. Hopefully we're in. Come on, get down there. Cards out. Reloading. Shit, we got a second set of spawns. Kill the first bag. Close the door. There we go. That's how it's done, people. Oh my god. Alright, now we just have to break this. Oh, it's unlocked. Good. Okay. So we drop this turret down, unlock the door, make sure we're loaded. Kill the spawner. That's it. Research lab done. Cool. Cool. Alright, so we're going to check the bags here. Ooh, we got some, another card. Okay, so all I'm going to do in this loot is I'm not, I'm, as much as I want to kind of go through all of this stuff, we got to go out and come back in anyway. So I'm just going to loot the open containers. I'll leave all the lock stuff till tonight. Uh, and we'll just simply just, because I can't take all this stuff back with me. There's no way. So I'm just going to scrap anything that's not really necessary. Not worried about the guys in the vestibule out there. Uh, we can scrap you, take the rest of the ammo, let's, there's a screamer, I was not expecting that, alright, so, best way to deal with screamers is Molotovs. So I'm hoping that she goes into, yeah, she's in a vestibule now, as long as she doesn't hear you. That should do it. Still on fire. Yep, 
Needs a second one. Oh, did she call a horde? Okay, so she's down. That could be a wandering horde. Not worried about that either. Okay. We gotta get out of here, but... I'm more worried about screamers than I am about wandering hordes. Did I just hear another one? No. That's the spider. Alright. Alright, let's just quickly open up these lockers and these things. Gonna keep the red research notes. Anything else is probably not gonna, uh... Don't need the red key cards. I'm gonna take the fort bites, I think. Uh, only be because... Ooh, that's what we want right there. Just in case we need damage mitigation. Take that. Okay, this is the best way to deal with these guys. Because they can't get in, right? The doors are impenetrable. So as long once you're inside, you're safe. As long as that door is closed. I'll take that. Nothing in there, eh? Wow, we're coming up with a lot less here than I thought we would. Uh, where's our pickaxe? So that's cops, I hear. Is it? That hit the desk. Damn it. Okay, I'm going to burn these guys down here first before we uh, move on. I mean, they know I'm in here. A few bookshelves. That guy's dead now. Is he? No. Maybe I should have brought grenades. That thing dead? Might be in a second. Don't know, not really sure how much is left there. Can I get this guy's head? There we go. We quiet? It's all quiet. They knocked the stairs out. Okay. Part of the stairs. We can still get out of here though. We just pull up and get out. Alright, that's not bad. Not bad at all. I'm gonna look for the rest of these lockers. Now, like I said, I'm not gonna break these lockers down. As much as I want to get the titanium out of them. Um, we'll do that on the second path through energy cells. One of the things we're looking for. Don't need that. Uh, we got... Put that in a stack. Don't know why I'm looking through these. Wasting my time here. Let's get these other things searched in here. So that's all done. Got a bunch of lockers in here. It's four red, red cards. Or red, uh skill notes or page notes, whatever they want to call them. Come on. Five more energy cells. Not a lot of energy cells, but I'm really hoping for a laser pistol here. Okay, that's a laser bladed sword. We're not picking it up on this run through. Because we still have to go back out and reset, come back in. Laser multi-tool we'll grab. There's lockers on this side and the other side, I think. So those we want. The pulse grenades are great. That's a, oh, an oh shit card for us in case we need to get out of here fast. Just gonna straight up scrap all this stuff. Now we've got a few of these in here we can get rid of. The wood I'll just hold on to for now. Uh, okay. Where's my axe? Mm, I'll take those for now. 
But yeah, we searched that already. Energy cells, a couple things to scrap. Actually, these things, I forgot. We're going to go back and grab the key cards because they all scrap into electronics. These things do. Right? Oh, they scrap into plastic. I thought it was like electronics. Oh, well. Oh, the diazepam we're going to grab, too. So, we got 12 research notes. Nice. Okay, sounds pretty quiet out of here. Let's make sure we're reloaded. You're reloaded. You're not. Okay, now, uh, axe comes up here again. Leave the pickaxe down. I'm sorry you had to die, buddy. I really am. Um, it's the best way to get out of here. If I had parkour, I could make that jump. I could just make some fucking ladders. What the hell am I thinking? Shape, ladders. Okay. Oh, man. So they did a pretty good number on this place. Alright, so theoretically, I'm going to go grab the bike and bring it back over now. Uh, which is... Where's the bike? Over there. So we're going to bring the bike back over. Um, now that we got animals and stuff spawning, that's not very good. Bring the bike over, park it next to it. Start the quest. Run in. We should just be able to go down and kill the spawners. I don't think anything will spawn. Sun's going down. Perfect timing. So we'll get in. I'll loot the place. I'm going to open up all the chests tonight. Grab what we can out of there. Hopefully we get a laser pistol. That'll be nice. If not, that's fine too. But then, um... I can't load up the bike. I gotta keep everything in my inventory. Simply because... This is what we have to carry across the wasteland. Alright, let's do this. Come on, man. These fucking ladders. I don't think we're gonna get any spawns, but I wanna rush through this just in case anyway. Damn it. So this is what I mean, like, if you're going to do this, go through it the, the proper way first. There we go. Done. Oh, all right. Well, I am going to break this place down tonight. I'm going to take everything apart. Let's just start with the loot here and find out what we get. Because I'm interested to see, like, I'll attempt the lockpicks on the other stuff. Until we're out of lockpicks, and then I'll bust them open. I don't want to generate too, too much heat. No, I don't know. Yeah, we're gonna just grab those. We'll scrap them in a minute. I don't know if we're if that screamer was because of all the noise we created here, or if it was part of a wandering horde. I'm gonna scrap all that. Uh, let's just go through the stuff out here. Oh, that's the growly cat outside. Okay, I'm not really worried about that cat. We can smoke that guy when we leave here. I don't need the beaker. Got plenty of those at home. Now these desks, you can technically break down for um, steel and stuff if you wanted. I don't think I'm going to need the fort bites. So I'll probably leave those behind. But I'm just going to grab them from now because they're stacking. Recog. Blood draw kits. We don't have any room to scrap stuff, so we'll just do... Oh, that's nice. Okay, bring down the pickaxe. Where are you? Here you are. Another red page. We might get enough for uh, two levels. I'm going to go back, like I said, I'm going to go back through afterwards and just scrap the uh, all the cards to get as much plastic as we can, too. Okay, those are both empty. More energy cells. Okay, nothing in there that I really need. Still having a hard time finding the, uh... What do we get? 17? We're almost done. Having a hard time finding the, um... 
Laser pistol. I'm hoping it's in one of those chests, though. We'll open those last. Let's just scrap as much of this stuff as we can. And then we can just get these single ones if we can out of our inventory. They'll scrap fast. So now we've got this desk. The lockers that are here. We can stack those. Stack them. Damn, man. 509 energy cells, though. It's not too bad, I guess. Oh, another red page. Beautiful. Alright, well... That is not as good as I was hoping. Check that one already. Okay, well... I think that's it for the, uh... Yeah, we've already searched these guys. Alright, let's open these, uh... Lock containers here. Oh, they're already open. Ooh, that's nice. It's going to save some time. I don't have to break them down. First one, energy cells. Uh, plasma grenades. Alright, some laser gear. I was really hoping for a pistol, man. Maybe my game stage is not high enough. That's going to be bad. Got, what, one more chance at it. I don't think we're going to get it. Well, there's still an opportunity to get one at Anna's place. We're going to get sent to Anna's after this. Alright, let me break into this real quick here. Alright. Ah, oh, man, really? Alright, some stuff to sell. We still have a whole bunch of stuff in here to scrap. So, we should be okay to cross the wasteland. Ditch that, scrap you... How are we doing here? So we got a couple of plasma batons. Some laser bladed swords. I mean, I don't mind the sword. The only, I mean, it does stop demon regen, but I don't want to be in a demon's face. I would rather be back. Same thing with the plasma baton. This thing actually is a really nice knockback, but I would rather not be in the demon's face, right? So, all right, I'm going to start pulling. Now, these guys, where's my uh, wrench here? A ratchet. I think these things just give you steel? No, titanium. Okay, so I'm gonna break all this shiz down. Yeah, I'm gonna break as much of this stuff down as I can. We can't cross the wasteland now. It's a bad... It's bad news. Bad time of day. You can see how this is all, like, rough terrain. So I did cross a road here. Oh, man. Do I go... I gotta decide. Am I gonna go and see if there's a town? A snow town? That we can maybe go to the traders in? I wanna grab all this titanium more than anything. Um, let's grab some food here. Do I wanna... Ah, oh, man. Do I go to the town? There's gotta be one there. But the question is... I mean, I could stay here tonight, break down all the all the desks, all the electronics, or we could attempt to go to a trader. What's more important? I think, I think, researching or our um, resources are probably more important. So I think what I'm going to do... Ah, man, it's such a hard... This is just plastic, right? I thought they... I thought for sure they broke down to electrical electrical parts. I mean, we can certainly still use plastic, but... Alright, this is the last of the lockers. Should I have like 240... 290 titanium. Okay, well... That just uh, answers my question. That's the uh, that's the nighttime jingle. I'm gonna go through and grab everything else from here. Did I forget to grab this the last time as well? I probably did. Let's see what's in this box. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stay here tonight. 
I'm going to grab as many resources as I possibly can. Steel, iron, whatever this place has. I'm going to break it all down um, until the morning. Like electronics. I think that's more important than anything. Like whatever I can get from this place. Those can get scrapped. Um, I'll do that tonight. Then tomorrow morning, um, either just before the crack of dawn or at the crack of dawn, we will bail from this place and just head across the wasteland. I have no idea if a horde's coming tomorrow. Um, that's the main issue. That's why we need to get out of here. Because if there is a horde coming, I don't want to be running back to my horde base. That I yeah, I hear you out there. Is that just one guy or is that a... Uh... It's just one guy. Yeah, I don't want to be running back to my horde base on horde night. So I'm going to stay here, get as much resources as I can, and then tomorrow we're out of here, get back to home. We'll know probably when we're running across the uh, wasteland if um, we're going to have a horde or not. If we don't have a horde, we're going to go to Eve, turn the quest in, and then we're going to head to uh, get some lead on the way home. And then um, we'll just go from there. Probably pick up some oil shale. And then we'll get back to the house. That'll give us a whole day then to prep for the horde. Anyway, I'm going to leave this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And you can drop your comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.